there are a few cards out there that when put together give you massive value on everything you spend and those cards make up the city trifecta even though it's called a trifecta it doesn't need to be three cards it could be two it could be four or you can mix and match so in this video we'll be breaking down all the details of the cards in this lineup why they're so useful and exactly why they're so powerful in giving you the most value for your spend so with the trifecta you want cards that will give you the widest coverage of categories while also giving you the highest return on your spend for those different categories. Of course, if you have two cards that overlap in a lot of the categories, then there's no reason to have both cards. Then when it comes to redeeming your points, you can go through traditional routes like getting gift cards or statement credit. But if you want even more value for these points, typically upwards of two to three cents per point, then you want the ability to then transfer out to travel partners and then redeem points that way. And fortunately, because City lets you combine points between accounts, in your trifecta, you'll want at least one card that lets you transfer these points out to these travel partners. With that said, let's go over the different cards that can be used within this City Trifecta setup, starting with the City Double Cash card. Now, I recently made a video that I'll link above dedicated to this card, so I won't go too in depth here. Essentially, this is a very basic card that will earn you 2% back on everything you spend, regardless of category and amount every single month. It's so basic that it doesn't even have a sign up bonus that most cards today do have. It doesn't have any annual fees, but other than that, there aren't really that many perks except for the ones that come with the World Elite MasterCard. But it's a really good baseline card that will give you 2% back on everything, with no exceptions. In fact, starting March 28, 2022, instead of the 2% back, you'll be getting 2 points back instead. And they're also lifting the $25 minimum for redeeming for cashback. You'll still be able to redeem points at 1 cent per point, so the value isn't changing. Cool, so onto the next card in this powerful combo, which would be the City Custom Cash. Just like the Double Cash, it does not have an annual fee, but unlike the Double Cash, this card does have a sign up bonus of $200 cashback when you hit the minimum spend. It also really complements the Double Cash because you'll be getting 5% back in your highest eligible spend category each billing cycle up to a $500 cap where the categories include restaurants and grocery stores to home improvement and live entertainment. For all the other spend that isn't part of your highest spend category, you'll only be earning 1% back. I should also add that the cash back from this card is given in points. So five times points and one times points, but remember you can still redeem them at one cent a point. In terms of perks, it's pretty similar to the double cash, nothing that special outside of the MasterCard World Elite benefits. So even with just the two no annual fee cards, with the double cash and the custom cash, it's already a pretty nice combo. Because the five times back is only on your highest spend category, I would then determine which category I'm gonna use that card on ahead of time and exclusively spend on that category with the card, then put everything else on the double cash. That way you maximize your earning with getting five times back in that one category and two times back on everything else. But of course, people call this combo a trifecta because the third card is what supercharges the value of your points. And that card would be the City Premier card. This is a more premium card in the lineup that has a $95 annual fee and is also the first card we're talking about that does not have a foreign transaction fee where both the double cash and custom cash have the fee at 3%. To try and counter the annual fee though, you are getting a $100 credit for hotel stays of $500 or more that were booked through the thank you portal once a calendar year. And in terms of sign up bonus, you are getting 60,000 points when you sign up and hit minimum spend, which at the one cent per point minimum is worth at least $600, which is six times the annual fee and more. And then when it comes to earning points, you're getting three times back on restaurants, supermarkets, gas stations, air travel and hotel with the one times back on everything else. There aren't that many other perks on this card, but the main highlight is the ability to transfer these points out to one of the city travel partners and then redeeming that way for much more than one cent a point of value. For example, you could transfer to the Turkish airline program 
and then fly from the US to Hawaii for just 30,000 points in business class. That means signing up for the Premier card already gives you two of those flights. Or transfer out to Virgin Atlantic that partners with ANA, where you can fly from the US to Japan for 90,000 points in business or 110,000 in first class, which would value the points at over 8 to 10 cents a point. There are a ton of ways you can redeem City Thank You Points, so I'll link resources down below to help you find the best sweet spot redemptions. For those of you who love to travel, there used to be a card called the City Prestige card that is more travel focused and could be swapped out for with the City Premier card, but has since been discontinued. That does leave a vacuum in City's highest tier credit card offering, so potentially there could be a replacement card coming in the future. On the other hand, there is one card you can consider to replace either the Custom Cash or Double Cash card, which would be the City Rewards Plus card. With it, you'll be getting 20,000 points when you sign up and hit minimum spend, which is similar to that of the Custom Cash card, but with double the minimum spend requirement. And for a limited time, you're getting five times points on air travel and hotels, up to $6,000 in the first year. Apart from that, this card offers two times back on supermarkets and gas stations, and one times back on everything else. So far, other than just for the sign up bonus, or if you're an avid traveler trying to maximize the five times points on the travel, then it's not that great of a card. Because remember, the double cash card already gives you two times points back on everything you spend with no restrictions. Although on the Rewards Plus, there is a unique perk where it'll round up to the nearest 10 points on every purchase. So a $2 coffee would have originally been two points, but it would be rounded up to 10. Lastly, you'll get a return of 10% of your points when you redeem for things. But if you're trying to maximize your rewards by transferring out to travel partners, then this perk won't really apply. But with that said, I think the double cash and the custom cash would make the strongest combo unless you're really trying to maximize for travel. But hey, because this is a no annual fee card, you could turn your trifecta into a quadfecta without any additional cost. Now I know that's a ton of information, especially with which card to use to spend on which categories. Personally, I'm more of a visual learner, so I've put together this chart to help you break it all down. As you can see, the double cash, custom cash, and premier combo covers the wide widest range of categories, which is why it's the most common setup out there. You could go for the Rewards Plus if you really want to get the 5 times points on travel or the sign up bonus, but I'd leave that till the end because all the other cards beat it in every other way. Feel free to pause the video or screenshot this if you like, but I'll also link an image version down below. Now when it comes to applying for these cards, there are a few rules that you need to know. Special to City, they have a 1-8 rule, meaning you're only allowed one City card in the last eight days. Then there's the 265 rule, meaning you're only allowed two city cards in the last 65 days. So if you're just trying to get the trifecta now, the fastest you can get all three cards is just over two months, so 66 days or so. For example, you can sign up for the city premiere on day one, then sign up for the custom cash on day nine, avoiding the 1-8 rule. Then on day 66, get the city double cash, which would avoid the 265 rule, completing your trifecta setup. The actual order of the cards doesn't necessarily matter, but things you wanna consider include what category is your upcoming spend on, can you hit the minimum spend to get the signup bonuses, and do you even qualify to get the signup bonuses in the first place? With that, I mean some of these cards do have restrictions. For example, with the custom cash card, it's limited to one signup bonus once every 48 months. Or the Premier, where you can only get it if you don't have or haven't recently closed accounts of the Rewards Plus, Preferred, Premier, or Prestige cards in the last 24 months. A rule that's also on the City Rewards Plus card. That's another reason you probably don't want to get the Rewards Plus, is that the rule clashes with the City Premier, which is a key part of the trifecta. Now, if you want to compare the City trifecta with another powerful combo, then you'll want to check out this video where I break down the Chase trifecta and all its details so you can see which trifecta is best fit for you. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.